Good afternoon. My name is Thema Campbell, and I am the president and CEO for Girl Power Rocks. Uh, we are longtime partners, friends, admirers of the Women's Fund. Um, when did our relationship begin with the Women's Fund? And how did our engagement with the organization unfold? Um, well, you know, I'm up there in that age where I don't remember a lot of things when they, ex the exact date when it happened. All I remember is meeting these group of women and like exhaling, like, wow, I never thought I would meet uh, a group like the Women's Fund because it was just exactly what, you know, what it said it was. It was a group of women and, um, whose vision and mission was all about supporting women and girls. And um, we just hit it off from the beginning because we were in sync. We were, we, were, um, we were keyed in and we were locked in on each other about exactly you know, where we were at this time and point in, in our history as women in this country and throughout the world. We knew that women had been overlooked and especially women of color. So I was just very happy to meet an organization who, uh, whose mission was to improve the lives of women and girls and to create opportunities for them and to create changes that would positively in, um, you know, affect women and girls. So that was kind of like when I first met them and I really became aware of the Women's Fund. Um, and the, the, collective, the, the collective mission that mostly resonate with me about the Women's Fund, uh, because exactly what the Women's Fund do for women and girls on a larger scale, girl power do the exact same thing on a grassroots in the community level, working with girls and their families to uh, protect and restore and preserve that family unit and to create the kind of changes that we know uh, women and girls need. Uh, we advocate for girls we, and we invest in them. We find other people to invest in them. We, uh, we try to harness the collective impact of everybody in the community who is in support of women and girls. But we know that for the most part, this is women, this is other groups of women like the Women Fund who come together with us and work with us. And we, um, and collectively, I think we have created this movement in Miami-Dade and throughout this country and in other countries around supporting women and girls and bringing to light all of the gender biases and discriminations and the violence that have been committed, that has been committed against women and girls. And I think collectively, we are all saying the exact same thing. We want to make a change. We have a different vision for women and girls. And I think that as we, we work together and we build these partnerships and we build these coalitions uh, that we are, you know, improving the lives of women and girls and bringing more girls and more women into the fold to help transform the work and to, to make this, this movement bigger and better so that we can uh, empower even more women and girls and attract more people to the work that we're doing uh, because we need the support. It's not just the women and girls of the women's fund and agencies like Girl Power, but in order for us to be successful and to get the kind of traction that we need, we know that we have to generate some sort of sustainable uh, impact uh, throughout Miami-Dade County, uh, our, our, our state and, and, and this country in order to um, make the sort of impact that we, that we really know we need to make to support women and girls to make their lives easier. Um, what antidotes stand out to me mostly or personally for me um, about the Women's Fund, um, I think it would be the, the health and the well-being of women and girls, because we know that when, when girls are healthy, 
when girls have healthy uh, living environments, when girls have safe spaces for them to grow and learn and express themselves, this makes for healthy women. You have a healthy girl, you have a healthy woman. You have an unhealthy girl, you have an unhealthy woman. Uh, and just protecting the women and the girls from the violence and from all of the things that uh, prevents them from living their best life. And I think that is, that's what resonates with me the most about the Women's Fund. And that is the connection between what Girl Power does and what the Women's Fund is doing because the exact mission that the Women's Fund have for women and girls, Girl Power is doing that exact same thing for girls and their families, providing these wraparound services, providing whatever it needs for that girl in her home to keep her safe, to keep her healthy, to make sure her family is doing well because that's her support system. And so you can't support the girl without supporting the family and those around her. So I think what resonates with me the most uh, about the Women's Fund is the fact that they are concerned about the health and the safety of women and girls and protecting them from uh, the trafficking and from the sexual violence and even from the violence that they experience sometimes in their homes and even in their own schools and their communities because that's where it starts for the girls. So keeping the girl healthy, keeping her strong, making sure that she feels safe, protected and nurtured. Those are some of the things that resonate with me uh, for the most part uh, about the Women's Fund and the similarities in the work that we both do. Uh, what does being a part of the Women's Fund mean to me personally? Um, I think it's just about connecting with women and being a part of something that's bigger than me, uh, bigger than my organization. When the Women's Fund, uh, this was maybe five or six years ago uh, when we had the Girls Coalition, we, uh, we used to meet at our office in Overtown because they needed a place to operate and it needed to be somewhere, you know, centrally located in the community. So once a month, uh, this fantastic group of women would come to our organization in Overtown and we would host them uh, coffee, danishes, fruit. And it was just the stories that we heard from the women who came to speak to us. It was the connections that we made um, that made us stronger as an organization. And one of the reasons why I wanted to have the meetings at Girl Power is because sometimes it would be very hard for me to leave my office. And I think it was in Coral Gables is where their office was at. I'm not sure uh, now, but I just remember being late all the time. And so when we had the opportunity to host this, these, the Girls Coalition, at our office, it just made perfect sense because we were a girls led organization. All of our staff were women and these were women and still are women who are very passionate about this work that we are, are doing with women and girls. Um, and, and it's just bring, making me uh, this, this one story that keeps coming back to mind. Uh, we had this little girl in our program uh, one time and she kept telling me it was her birthday and um, and she wanted me to buy her a gift. And I was telling her against our program rules, I'm not allowed to, you know, to spend money on any, but anyway, this little girl was just insisting that she wanted a birthday present. So I went to Publix and I bought her a $7 cake and, um, and I gave her the cake for her birthday with the candle on it. And she started crying and she told me this was her first time having a, getting a birthday cake. And this kid was, she was in middle school. So she had to be 11, 12 or 13 years old. But it just made me think about the work that we do, you know, as agencies like Girl Power in the Women's Fund, how much that one thing meant to this one child, this one girl, and this work that we're doing, that we're collaborating on, that we're in partnership together, those little small things like that, uh, that we are doing for each other, uh, that we are engaging in. Uh, one of the things that the Women's Fund used to do was um, 
they used to uh, give us grants every year. And it wasn't a lot of money, but it was money that helped us meet the needs of the girls. So just a lot of reasons why Girl Power will always be uh, grateful, indebted to, and in awe of the Women's Fund and the type of work that they do in the community, not just for Girl Power, but for so many other agencies that work with women and girls. Um, and uh, I think that is that is one of the big connections between what we all do and the love and support that we give to, you know, the women and, and the girls that we meet. Um, what is our vision for the Women's Fund in upcoming years? And what results would, would we like to see? Uh, what we want for women and girls is for it not to even be a question about our rights and what we need and what we want. Uh, we don't, we, we don't wanna have to advocate over the years for the same thing year in and year out, begging legislators what we want to see is for this, this movement, this, this global, local, national, state movement around the rights uh, and the freedoms and the protection of women and girls. One of the things that we would like to see is for this not to be an issue anymore, for us not to have to, to spend our time fighting for the same thing over and over again and year in and year out. Uh, I, I think for me, it's, it's like, when, you know, when do we get to this promised land that we're trying to get to as far as women's rights and equal rights, rights and gender biases? When, you know, when do we get there? And, and what does the work look like for all of us? And so uh, the journey, it's a long journey. It's been a long journey. It's been a hard journey. Uh, a lot of women have paid uh, the price with their lives. Uh, we sacrifice our families, we sacrifice our health, uh, we sacrifice sleep and our relationships just so that we can be in service to other women and girls. And I think the bigger picture for me is when this is no longer an issue. When we can say that women and girls are free from biases, they are free from violence, uh, and they are free from the tyranny of, of I don't want to say men, but a lot of it is coming from men. Uh, and I don't know if it's education, but just looking forward to the day when we can say that girls are safe and we don't have to worry about girls being taken advantage of or, or sexualized uh, for the pleasures of others. And so I think that's what uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm looking forward to most, uh, and just love the working relationship that we have with the Women's Fund, and uh, and just looking forward to moving on to bigger and better things, and impacting more women and more of, more girls, and this thing growing and getting bigger, and people coming on board to support this work. Uh, I forgot to talk about this awesome event. The Women's Fund do a lot of events throughout the year, a lot of great workshops, uh, a lot of engagement activities, but the one that's my favorite is the power of the purse. Uh, this is the, a day when women throughout Miami-Dade County, we really get dressed up in the, in the morning, in the middle of the day, and we go to this awesome event, and it's so exciting. It's just walking in the room and seeing these women of all different shapes, sizes, colors, all the different backgrounds. And uh, the room is so gorgeous and beautiful. And the, uh, the raffle items, the food, uh, the women that you meet, that you get to network with, it's just one of the most awesome feelings because you know, as women, we work so hard every day. We just we just don't stop. We don't let up because the work is there and we're busy and we gotta get it done. But on this particular day, it's like we let our hair down, we have cocktails, and it is, it's an amazing feeling. I don't know what it is about that event that makes you as a woman uh, feel so empowered. And it just, oh, it's just like a breath of fresh air being in the room with all these powerful women, uh, the synergy in the room, the beauty, just 
just gorgeous, beautiful women and young girls. And it's it's just a great feeling. And, um, and we need more events like that. So we're very grateful to uh, the Women's Fund for the Power of the Purse. Uh, I think last year it might've been virtual. I think I bought some virtual items through the uh, online auction, but I think, yeah, last year, I don't think we had it last year or the year before that. So everybody's excited about it. Uh, I'm excited, my staff is excited and we're just looking forward to it because it is an awesome event and it makes you feel so good just being in the room. So yeah, the power of the purse purse is powerful.